What's up guys? Paradigm Digital here. So lately I've been listening to a lot of melodic dubstep and I came across this one song. So I kind of recreated it. It doesn't sound exactly like it. Yeah here it's just pretty basic. Right, and so I'm going to be showing you guys how to chop vocals because I want to put some vocals like here, right? And yeah, so start off, you need to find yourself some vocals. So I just have a couple here. So I have this one, which I got from Remix Comps. Yeah, you can find a lot of stuff. So we'll take some. Stripped of all my insecurities. I am more. I am more stripped of. Okay, all right. You take that. Throw it there. Stripped of all my insecurity. Okay, we don't need all of this, right? So. Boop, boop. Right, now something you can do in Ableton. You right click. Slice the new MIDI track. Okay. Right, pull a drum rack. We don't need this. Same things right here. Right, so yep. We delete these. Now we have a ton of little audio clips. Right. For the right open And so if you were to go up, this is what we just said. So now you can kind of just go random and you can shape what you want your Talk to vocals to be so. Alright, we're starting like at that, so you kind of want to try and find that key. You're looking for the start, right? Right, and so you just kind of place these things randomly, but and they just kind of stick together. Don't go for the ones that sound like this. Yeah, you get like nothing. Go for like the something that is just actually audio. You know, not that. So. Right, and so you just kind of go randomly. It's kind of hard to explain how you do it. You just do it. Oops. 
Right, and so then you can just uh, copy and paste that, and you're done. You know, so now it already fits within the entire beat. So. could take a step further and change up the second half, but you know, once you've got this, you're done. Um, yeah, and just a side note, something I learned in Ableton recently that I'll share with you guys is you can get an audio track. This is not really related to the video, but you can set your input to whatever your MIDI is, so I'll go to 73, right? Put it to end, turn this on, master, right? And then you can. Yeah, it's like, why take the time to export the audio of a certain MIDI thing if you're just using it for a second? Yeah, you because know, you've already got an audio form of that MIDI. So, that's just a quick tip for the stuff. So, yep, see ya.